What's up guys? Welcome back to the Fig Hill YouTube channel and today we're going to be unboxing the new Hastel Toy Grapplers and Gimmicks Canadians. Stay tuned. Yes, what is going on guys? It is time for another unboxing here on the Fig Heel YouTube channel. As usual, it's brought to you by the Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia, available now on Amazon.com or HeelBooks.com. Now today, we're going to be unboxing the new Grapplers and Gimmicks 2-pack of the Canadians, pierre Carl Oulet and Jacques Rougeau. Oh man, I am excited about these. Now, The Quebecers are now the Canadians uh, for obvious reasons, right? Jacques did have a WWF Hasbro as the Mountie, so we brought that out just to kind of compare the detail in the sculpt and everything and see how we're doing. But man, these do look great. Again, if you watched our Mark Mural on Tuesday, I'm super excited that we're not doing the slip cover on these, right? These are blister on cart and they're well done. Let's take a look at the front here. So we got uh, Pierre over here, PCO, and we got uh, Jacques Rougeau over here. Great shot of them, stylized just like all the other grapplers and gimmicks figures. Got their signatures, which I always love. The Canadian Crunch over here for PCO and Jacques Jolt. Uh, they do come with removable sunglasses, which I'm excited about. First ever Hasbro style removable sunglasses, I believe. I'm trying to think, is there other ones? Nothing that's coming to my mind, but there's been so many retro releases in recent years that there probably is. Actually, you know what? Adam Bomb, Cella Toys, had some uh, shades that were removable. There's got to be other ones, too. But very excited about these. They look great. Different enough. I mean, he's sparing no expense. Mitch is doing great. Let's talk about the back. So, all right. So, these were designed on different dates. So, the Carl Oulet, Carl Oulet was from March 8th, 2023, right there's the design, and honestly, it looks better than the design, and Jacques was on July 24th, 2023, so a little over a year for both of these, uh, which, you know, for an independent toy company, that's not bad, he's got so many things in the pipeline that I can understand why certain things are taking a little bit longer, maybe sitting on the back burner a little bit, on the back, though, it does show off their renders, as well as Coco Beware, James Ware, and Downtown Bruno, which are coming soon that I can't wait for. I love Bruno, so I'm excited to get that one. But enough about that. Let's open these bad boys up and let's review them. Man, the adhesive that they use, this is like, there's no denying that these aren't going to fall off the card. I guess they learned their lesson from uh, Nelson Frazier, Mabel coming off the card they're like we're never going through that again we are extra adhesiving these things and they are no joke all right again feels great just like the mark miro feels sturdy doesn't feel too loose doesn't feel too tight but it feels just right now here's jacques so we're gonna save that for later i think that the flesh tone on these are actually better than the original mountie mountie is like a little bit too peachy and this one has like a little bit more natural skin tone to it. Um, pretty nice. All right, so I'll put that up there. Love the boots. I love the boots. All right, let's talk about PCO first. So he's got those, um, I want to say that this is a Savio arm. I could be wrong. I'd, I wish I had it on me to, to compare it. But the uh, wristbands kind of look like it with the texture to them. He's, his uh, torso is slightly different than Jacques. So he's got a little bit more of a belly. It's almost the exact same sculpt, except he has a little bit more of a belly on him, which is pretty cool. Do they have the same legs? Looks like they have the exact same legs, which is pretty cool, man. Uh, you know, making them different enough is great. Likeness there, he's got the dark hair, that mean smirk. He's got the uppercut hand here. Stripe down the side, 
belt looks great. Uh, gold buttons, gold belt, flat boots, those brown flat boots. And over here, we'll take a look at Jacques. So he's got that like stunner arm that is also like a DDT arm. Thumb up here, absolutely jacked, different arms. I mean, this is probably how I would display them. Again, yellow stripe on the side, the belt looping throughout, gold on there, gold on here, and even on the top of the shirt. Does PCO have that? Yep. Man, these look great. He's got the slick back hair, that smirk, that shitty and grin, as I like to call it. And here we have their glasses, which I'm nervous about. So these glasses are very um, Remco-esque. So in the original AWA Remco line, the Long Riders came with a lot of accessories. And one of them was removable sunglasses that like swimming goggles draped around the whole head, which is what these do. So there's a little bit of detail in there, which you can see on the glasses. And this is how they wrap around the head. Um, they are thin enough that it actually could work. We're going to find out. All right, so here's PCO. Actually, doesn't look bad. Doesn't look bad. So there he is with the glasses on. It kind of does look like he just has glasses on until you look at the side and you realize they wrap around his head. So the engineering on that is actually pretty good. Let's check out Jacques. Wow. Uh, surprising to me. Surprising to me, they, they don't look bad. They look pretty good. From the front, it kind of just looks like they have glasses on. I wouldn't, if I only saw a front shot, I wouldn't have guessed that these wrap around the head until I see the side, obviously, but I think they look pretty good. You can see the detail on them. Now, since we did that, let's take a look at uh, Jacques compared to the Mountie. Obviously, similar gear, but different, right? So, right there. The red's a little bit brighter, a little bit more shine on the Hasbro, but I like the amount of shine that's on these. I'm not too crazy about every inch of light hitting this thing, and it's completely reflective. No hat, obviously, but the detail on the face, doing pretty good, man. The, this was not one of the best heads that they did uh, at Hasbro, so this is a, a much-needed improvement. The patches on the top, not uh, colored in. The pocket's a little bit too big on this one when you compare them to this. Uh, this just feels right, man. This just feels right. And I'm not saying... I love the Mountie figure. I love the shock stick. I love everything about it. But for the Quebecers, these are pretty solid. These are pretty solid, man. These would look great on a Hasbro shelf. I mean, they let them speak for themselves, right? They look great. The exact same scale nothing's too big nothing's too small very well done on mitch's part here they are the canadians and these are available um i don't know if they still are but they were available on hasteltoy.com or grapplersandgimmicks.com if you want these get them because once they are gone they are gone um i like this i like the thumb i like he's pointing to himself like like very very cocky you know what i mean these look excellent. Shout out to Mitch, man. He did, his improvement on these has been very impressive. You know, he's taken all of his criticism and he's really, you know, turned it into a better product. So hats off to him. Get it? Hats off. Uh, so yeah, here they are. The Canadians, the Quebecers from Grapplers and Gimmicks. Hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Fig Heel. Twitter is at The Fig Heel. Pick up the Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia on HeelBooks.com. Join Whatnot at WhatHeel.com. And make sure you check out the Case Fresh Podcast. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Thank you for joining us. Peace. Are you a wrestling figure collector of WWE Mattel, AEW Jazzwares, and everything in between? Then you need Fig Heels Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia, the modern edition covering all releases from 2010 to present day. 
featuring over 5,000 photos of action figures from the hottest brands, including independent toy makers. Keep track of what you have, want, and need, including loose, mock, and overall collection value. With a Ford by WWE superstar Xavier Woods and shots by Matthew Goldberg, the Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia is a must-have for collectors. Premium, full-color, and value black and white editions available now on Amazon.com. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Fig Heel. Pick up my book series on Amazon and my merchandise on ProWrestlingTees.com slash Fig Heel. Join my official sponsor, Whatnot, at WhatHeel.com and receive $15 off your first purchase.